Welcome to part one of our video series. Here's a rundown of what we'll be covering in this video. First, Jeremy, one of our Sitefinity certified developers, will go into the back end of our site to show you our page template for our culture page. He'll discuss how we utilize containers on our page templates to create structure for our content and maintain the integrity of design across our website. And he'll then go into how layouts can be used to provide additional structure to page content, but also give flexibility to our content editors in choosing how they want that content displayed. We're going to start with our culture page. Um, starting with this page because it's a little simpler. Um, it's got some pretty basic content, some images, some, some pretty cool little check boxes, some nice two column layout stuff. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a pretty simple content page. It's something like you would see on pretty much any site. And I thought this would probably be the uh, easiest place to start. So that's where we're going to get started. So in Sitefinity, we're going to go take a look at that page template in the back end just to give you an idea of sort of what we're looking at here. So we are going to use this main template. It is the only template we use on the site. 38 pages is our entire site tree. So uh, you can see it's very simple. There's not a lot on it, and that is by design. So we have the logo, navigation. You will see two search boxes that may be a little confusing. Um, that was a design choice. We have uh, it placed differently on mobile. And rather than try and find some weird way to move this one around, we just decided having two and hiding one on desktop and mobile would be easier. So you don't have to get too hung up on that. It works, and um, it's uh, just a little bit of uh, template work that has to get done sometimes. And you'll see our whole content, our, our whole footer is in one content block. Um, and so what you may notice, though, is that this there's only one place to put content on this template, and that is this main content. Um, we very much make a concerted effort not to limit content managers. So the idea here is, you know, every page on the site is actually within a container. We have gutters on the sides of all of our pages, which we'll talk about momentarily, but we didn't want to restrict anybody on that. So really like having this main content be full width and let content managers choose what their layouts will be was really, this was a, a design choice when we created these templates. And we'll, we'll show that off here in just a moment. But uh, So that's the main page template. So while that goes back, um, what I was talking about with containers, so you'll see we have these large gutters on the side of all of our pages. None of the content on any of our pages goes out past sort of this side. Our, our center container area is about 1,200 pixels. It's a pretty standard size. I believe that is the uh, default size when you uh, use uh, Bootstrap, and which is what Sitefinity is built on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build, we're going to create our page. Um, we're going to call it the new culture page. We are not going to show it in navigation because I don't think our team wants that uh, to show up on our live site where we are creating this currently. Um, and then we're going to pick that main template, the one that we uh, just took a look at. Let's say Finity is going to do its thing and we're going to see pretty much the same thing. If you're not as familiar with Sitefinity, you may notice that you cannot edit. The uh, little edit and more buttons are gone from template level items. Those are settings you can change, but uh, for the sake of consistency, it just makes more sense for people not to be able to come in here and change stuff on templates for every individual page. So we won't get too much into page creation. That will be the next video, but I do want to show a little bit of what I was talking about with layout. So, over here on layout, we have our container. So now, when we put content, like let's say we want a content block to go in here, you see we have our gutters on here. And so you might say, well, why don't we just put this container on every page? Um, we could do that. Everything is going to live with inside a, a, of a container. But like I said, we really want this to be as free and open for content managers. So we left it full width, we left no columns, nothing in here so that anybody coming in to create content could do what they wanted. Now, of course, there are plenty of people who get input on how these pages look, so they may have to go back and change it, but we wanted the freedom to be there. So if we decide to change something later, it was easy to do rather than having to change templates or going into code and changing things. So. 
Um, that's going to be a wrap on this first video. Um, in the next video, we will start by adding our hero widget and start with this top section of uh, images and content. And I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video where we start making a page. Thanks. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about the topics discussed, please reach out to us through our website. And you can also visit our website for Sitefinity resources that will help you and your team get the most out of your Sitefinity CMS.